say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free in the heart Is Skyler Cole singing the national anthem? A fantastic rendition. The NBA on 2K Sports. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon with Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan, and we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight David Aldridge. And checking out some numbers for Cole Anthony. And the stat to look at is his steal total over the last five games. He's been focusing more on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot tougher on D. A look at the Magic starting group. Dan Caro and Carter make up the inside pair. Harris is out there with Cole Anthony. And it's Ingles in its small forward. And for the Pacers. Outside the wings are Heald and Matherin. Neesmith is out there with Miles Turner. And it's Halliburton in the point guard. Always exciting to see two teams with bright futures, Gray. Young stars hungry to prove themselves. And Kevin, the hungrier, the better, if you ask me. When you've got all that youthful energy and ambition out on the court, Here we go. very special things can happen. And it's going to be the Pacers off the tip. Here he goes. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. My goodness, what a triple drive by Mr. Tyrese Halliburton. Now Harris. Outside Anthony. Right wing. Bancaro kicks to Anthony. Six on the shot clock. Rejected by Halliburton. Passes it to Turner. Outside, Matherin. Back to Turner. Anthony against Halliburton. And that one is off. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for the Magic. Carter outside. And it's sent back by Turner. I'll tell you, you love the attitude of Miles Turner. No one is getting off these shots when he's nearby. No one. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Here's Anthony. The shot's good on the assist by Engel. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Halliburton against Anthony. And it's Halliburton missing. The Magic have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Anthony, the pass to Carter. To the right side. Bancaro kicks to Anthony. Here is something great from Pacers history. They were a dynasty at one point, and you remember it well. Yeah, you're talking about the ABA days, but it's true. The, the Pacers were a dominant team before the merger. They won three titles in four seasons just before joining the league.
and he knocks down the first one. Cole Anthony, a guy who has just tremendous feel for the game. He's obviously been around it from the time he was very young. Just understands where the ball should be at all times. Good passer, aggressive scorer. And he makes both free throws. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Anthony against Halliburton. Indiana moving it around. The pass to Matherin from past the arc. Traps in the tray. Matherin showing his willingness to be ready on the catch. Go ahead. Harris against Teal. Outside Anthony. Fires for three. It's rebounded by Neesmith. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Halliburton feeling it out a bit. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Cole Anthony. Oh, Greg, there's a lot of impressive things about Tyrese Halliburton, most notably how efficient he is. Yeah, Kevin, those percentages are terrific. But not only that, he's phenomenal at it, making sure he keeps his teammates involved. Just a remarkable young point guard. That's good from Halbert. Well, they're still young, but the Magic, Greg, are becoming one of those league pass teams. Like, like people want to watch them. Yeah, I mean, they've got some players. Leaving aside any rooting interest on my part, they've got some young fellas that are definitely intriguing to watch. Halliburton hits them both. Well, how long does all of your off-season rest usually last you at the start of the regular season? Like, like, when do you start to really feel the games again? You know, the fatigue comes at you fast, Kevin. So that rested feeling only lasts about a couple weeks. Nothing wears you out like playing NBA ball. Rock the rim, Wendell Carter Jr. We see you. Anthony against Halliburton. Now, here's Neesmith. Coming off a stellar performance against Philadelphia. Four on the shot clock. And Tyrese Halliburton gets the three. Halliburton's got seven. Well, it's been early in his career, but Tyrese Halliburton has proven to be extremely dangerous from range. Carter with a screen on Halliburton. Anthony, the pass to Carter. And it's sent back by Turner. Anthony against Halliburton. Healed outside. Left side, Halliburton. Over in the corner, Matherin. On the wing. Tries again. And Turner with the lay-in. You love the determination, right? Miles Turner effectively getting to the window and getting another opportunity. Pass to Ingles. Feeds to Van Carroll. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Greg, here he is, the first overall pick of the 2022 draft. Hello, Bancaro. And the top pick because he's a 6'10 playmaker. Bancaro has a tremendous feel for the game. Great vision, passing it, and endless potential offensively. That free throw, good from Bancaro. And you know, Doris, the Magic have struggled offensively in the past few seasons. You are right, Kevin. The numbers on that end haven't been pretty. But let's remember, they've got some of the best young talent in the league. 
the more experience they get, the better they become. The future is bright. Uh, despite the fact that he's highly skilled, Paulo Boncaro also plays with this relentless energy you love. And here is Neesmith, still scoreless. Over in the corner, Turner. Carter pulls it in. The Magic trail by five. Van Caro dishes to Anthony. Kicks it to Ingles. Looking for Van Caro and gets it there. The shot's good on the assist by Ingles. Ingles has got three assists tonight. I'll tell you, Joe Ingles is proving that as a passer, he is a special player. Halliburton finds heel. Halliburton against Anthony. Taken away by Anthony. Driving in. Up and in on the way. Anthony's got his second bucket of the night. Boy, you can see the speed by Cole Anthony on display. He can mix speeds. He can come right at you. That's a nice-looking drive. Now, here is Halliburton. Seven points in the game. Turner inside. Defended by Carter. Right block shot. Carter pulls it in. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by Carter. Indiana leading. Halliburton with it. 23 points his last outing. On the wing, Matherin. Angles covering. And it's Halliburton missing. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. To the paint. Here's Carter. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Carter's got his second basket. Anthony. Wendell Carter Jr. going to the cup. Look out, folks. Here he comes. In the corner, it's healed. Pass to Neesmith to the inside. They kick out to heel. Shot clock at five. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Gary Harris. Buddy healed so active on the offensive end. Finds the defense in a compromised position and gets what he's looking for. The first free throw is good. Doors amongst the best we've ever seen from the Bahamas, Buddy Heal. Really think about it, Kevin. Buddy Heal, DeAndre Ayton, Kai Jones. We're seeing a few very successful men. And let's not forget about John Quell Jones, MVP in the WNBA. She grew up training with Heal in the Bahamas. Both free throws good from Heal. It wasn't the best of seasons, Doris, for the Indiana Pacers last year. But there are reasons for optimism. Kevin, they've got a talented young core that appeared to really enjoy playing with one another. It was a selfless group that looked fun to coach, and I believe the franchise headed in the right direction. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for the Indiana Pacers. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Orlando. And they won the season series against this club last year, but, you know, then again, so did a lot of other teams. Now here's Heald. 23 points his last outing. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Anthony with it. Halliburton picks him up. Passes it to Carter. Van Carroll with the ball. Back to Carter. Harris outside. Shoots over Turner. Harris's shot is off. Pressured that shot by getting a hand. Gary Harris can play the one or the two, guys, and you have to be able to hit the open man. He does so there. Here's Halliburton. He's got seven. 
Heald outside. It's good from long range. Heald's got five now. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Now a timeout called by Orlando. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink. That's substitution on the court. Here's Nora. There's a minute 34 left to play in the first quarter. Halliburton for three. Bangs home the trifecta. Ten points for him. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Here's Okiki. Here's Anthony. Gets the 14-footer to fall. And the Magic lead by one. Brown had a hand on it. Now Suggs taking a look at his stance. He's averaging around seven and a half points a game. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. The pass to Toppin. Outside Jackson. Back to Toppin. Down to five on the shot clock. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Halliburton for three. And it's Fugner with the rebound. Boy, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. But Greg, I'm sure their coach is very pleased with their offensive flow right now. I mean, it's harder than it looks to get it going like this. Now they just have to maintain it. Brown outside. to Halliburton. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Bo Anthony has been on display for the Orlando Magic. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we've got more on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Orlando. Straight away, they, they've opened things up offensively with skillful passing, running smart plays, and just setting guys up for success. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt in. Side, converting tons of pain opportunities. We got TJ McConnell on out there with Toppin. Then it's Halliburton, and it's Walker in at the five spot. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Pacers. Well, it's excellent recognition from Cole Anthony, but how about your offense working to get a man that wide open? Pretty. Halliburton passes to Toppin. Isaiah Jackson, he's checked in for Walker. And the Magic making a change here as well. Oh, Kiki's checked in.
captain T.J. McConnell on the fort. It's like watching a guard from a couple decades ago. And Kevin, this guy's just an old school point guard. His focus is on defense and passing. And great at both of those as an undersized guard in today's NBA. Two shots. No good on the free throw. And Greg, when they talk about youth development, the days are gone when coaches divided guards and bigs when it comes to skill work. When, when did that change? It, it's kind of a recent in years, but it's amazing how the game has evolved. And he's good on the second. And the Magic making strides, but Doris, their offense. is still wagging behind. Yeah, a couple things come to mind here, Kevin. Obviously, outside shooting and playmaking are two areas where they can grow. Elite perimeter play would probably help take them to the next level, but this is all part of the process when you've got young talent. Pacers trail by six. Now, here's McConnell. Nine-point game is last outing. Halliburton on the wing. Suggs with the steal. And it's Anthony, top of the key. And it's Wagner missing. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Halliburton outside. And stolen by Wagner. To the middle. Here's Anthony. Oh, and a jam by Anthony. Jalen Suggs has proven early. If you're open, he's going to find you. Pretty pass. Halliburton outside. There's the try. That shot off. Orlando leading by eight. Suggs kicks to Anthony. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Indiana's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. Wendell Carter Jr. didn't break through in his first stop with the Bulls, but he's become a cornerstone player with the Magic. But he says is, I've definitely tapped into a different side of myself. Defensively, being able to guard one through five. Just continuing to go up from there and helping my team. Kevin? Good stuff, DA. Thank you. Clock is at three. Let's go. Again, the miss by Anthony. That's a shot he makes with regularity, but that time the defense up to the challenge. Halliburton passes to McConnell. Back to Halliburton. And he comes up with the deuce. 12 points for Tyrese Halliburton. Well, that's not an easy finish. Defense, an excellent contest. Halliburton looks like he's bottled up but comes away with a bucket. Outside Anthony. There's Bitadze. Once again off the mark, Orlando. So for the Magic, their last game, a loss to the Bulls in Chicago. But the failure to make shots on a consistent basis, that, that's going to put you behind the eight ball all night. I thought most of the shots they took were low percentage looks. The key in the NBA is, can you get your best scorers into their best spots? They didn't do that. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for the Orlando Magic. They've only allowed five points in the quarter. And that one is good from Suggs. Let's not forget, Jalen Suggs is a great football player growing up. He is not afraid to mix it up down low. Jackson setting the pick here for Halliburton. 
The feed now to Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Orlando leading by four. And here is Anthony. 23 points for him the last game against Chicago. Yeah, but I like how he defended as well. You know, he got a couple blocks in that game and just an all-around great effort. Pass to Okiki. There's the three. Goes back up. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Isaiah Jackson. The Magic have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. Two shots. And the first one goes. Greg, in terms of the Pacers' last few seasons, some have pointed to their relative lack of size. What do you think? Well, I think a big push for them this summer was adding to their front court, particularly getting more size at the forward positions. And I think they've improved in that regard. Looking at who's out there now for the Pacers. Turner's checked in for Jackson. Neesmith comes in for Toppin. And it's Benedict Matherin in for T.J. McConnell. Halliburton with it. 12 points for him on the wing run. Halliburton against Anthony. Here's Turner. That's good. And it's Halliburton with the assist. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Here's Anthony. 10 points for him. He feeds it to Ingles. Back to Anthony. Another miss by Orlando. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Outside Matherin. Down low. Here's Halliburton. That one goes in. Oh, just a two-point magic lead. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Anthony looking it over. This is it to Carter. Here's Butadze. He kicks to Anthony. Krill's the three-pointer. Anthony's got 13. There are certain guys who know and believe they can be a top option offensively. Cole Anthony cooking right now. Turner with a screen for Matherin. And there's the drive. And it's Turner finishing it off. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Well, credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. Orlando leading by three. Now, Ingles still yet to score. Harris outside. Now the pass to be Thompson. A nice shot by Harris. And the Magic lead by five. Well, Gary Harris is getting points inside. Defense could be in for a long night, folks. Pass to Matherin. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got seven rebounds in the game. Matherin against Ingles. Outside Anthony. Has to be Thompson. Five on the clock. It's rebounded by Neesmith. Pacers trail by five. Now, here is Hallibert. He's got 14. Passes to Matherin. And he uses both hands to jam it in. That's about powerful. Matherin knows when to score it. Easy dunk. Orlando leading by three. Now a timeout, timeout called timeout. by Orlando. Orlando.
Dan Carroll's checked in for the match. Jalen Suggs comes. <laughs> Dishes it to Dan Carroll. Good, and he's now three for four from the field. Apollo Boncaro, so assertive in the paint. You love to watch that guy work down there. And here's Halliburton. 14 points for him. Outside Turner. It's stolen by Carter. Harris against Turner. Harris drives in. A pass to Ingles. Carter down low, covered by Heal. Good work there as it goes. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Pass to Turner. Over Carter. The shot by Turner, no good. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Ingles passes to Ben Carroll. Here's Anthony. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. Trailing here by eight. They've got the Hawks ahead of them in their next game, and it's in Atlanta. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Just five on the clock. And Turner kicks to Halliburton. That ball. Nice feed that time from Turner. Halliburton's got 17 now. And he's such an efficient three-point shooter. Halliburton has an outstanding feel for when to fire from deep. Anthony finds Carter. With the teardrop. It's rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got rebound number eight now on the night. Halliburton with it. 17 points in the game. Heel left side. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, that's a smart play by Heel. He allows the defense to get close, won't back off his shot. Excellent job. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. For a guy with the shot mechanics of Buddy Heald, you'd love to see him get to the free throw line more, but it's really not his game. He is just a dead-eye three-point shooter. Suggs, he's checked in for Cole Anthony. Both free throws good from Heald. We've got 28 seconds left in the first half of the game. Suggs dishes to Ban Carroll. Over Neesmith. Ban Carroll, that's good. Ban Carroll's got four this quarter. Such a multi talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. Here's Halliburton. Healed from outside. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's the Magic. They lead by five. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, guys. Coach, where do you look to shore things up at the defensive end of the floor? They're hitting us in some different areas, you know, so we got to give help on the inside. And uh, with the guys we have playing tonight, we got to be real persistent, real together. Got to find that chemistry very quickly. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway.
Come one, come all. The 2K halftime is here, and so is our breakdown of the upcoming schedule. Let's check it out. In that game against the Hawks, you look at both teams collectively, it seems like a toss-up. It could come down to individual matchups. Yeah, there is some serious star power in this one. Feels like somebody's going to step up and have a monster night. And moving forward, a lot to like about that first half for the Orlando Magic. You look at their shot chart, what stands out to me is all the activity inside. They've been the aggressor. It's straight up bully ball. And they have the horses to pull it off. And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Orlando leading by five. And so in the game for the Magic, Caro and Carter make up the inside pair. Anthony is out there with Gary Harris. And it's Ingles in at the small forward. Orlando moving the ball around. Six to shoot. And Carroll passes to Ingles. The three from Anthony. The shot's good on the assist by Ingles. Ingles has got six assists here tonight. You love Cole Anthony's attitude. So confident, so willing to fire on the catch. Halliburton finds Turner. Here's Heal. Outside Matherin. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Orlando's gone 4 of 8 tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the free ball here. Second half rolling along now, about a minute played here. Here's Ben Kill. It's rebounded by Indiana. Now, Halliburton. outside. Three-pointer. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got 11 rebounds in the game. And it's Anthony with the ball for the Orlando Magic. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. On the wing, Harris. Chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. For this young Orlando team last season, GA was a huge step forward. A 12-win improvement, taking a giant step forward offensively. The top five scorers, all under 25 years old, a very bright future in Orlando. Harris against Teal. Outside Anthony. And Carter has it in the corner. Back to Anthony. A shot off that time. Excellent defense there from Halliburton. Boy, as slow a start as you could have. Just one for four from the field. They're struggling. And Torres, you watch the defenses try to corral Benedict Matherin. He always seems to have an answer, doesn't he? He does, Kevin. This guy knocks down jumpers in a variety of ways, whether it's off the bounce, catch-and-shoot situations. His mechanics are clean. He's confident. And, boy, he is aggressive. The first one falls. Boy, when you think about Benedict Matherin, this guy is a talented, aggressive scorer. His ceiling very high. He's going to have to be a little more efficient. He hits both from the strike.
A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Bancaro outside. From downtown, the rebound by Turner. Turner's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. One for five has got to be a frustrating start, and they just don't look sharp right now. Can they find their offensive game? Good work defensively by Carter. Orlando leading by three. Harris passes to Anthony. Now the dish to Van Carroll. Here's the three. Nailed from three-point land. Van Carroll's got 12 in the game. Well, just taking the time to get the play set up pays off. Van Carroll doesn't rush. Halliburton finds Turner, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will take it. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. We take a look at the Pacers. They're in second, looking to take over the first spot. And, of course, there's the Magic, five and a half games behind. And seeing where Indiana is, they've gotten off to a terrific start this year. We knew they were capable of playing terrific basketball, and so far, they have not disappointed. Yeah, and there really hasn't been any feeling out process for them at the start of the season. They were in peak form immediately. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That IQ has been on display. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Well, of course, the Pacers have a great history. And star point guard Tyrese Halliburton is eager to embrace it. He said, I want to know all the stories of Pacers players of the past. I want to know more about Ron Artest and everybody who played for this organization. I'm being where my feet are. I love being here in Indy. Kevin? Oh, I'd love to hear that. He could be that next Pacers great player. Ooh. Oh, it's unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. Going to the rim with aggression is young Cole Anthony. Awesome display of athleticism captured by our AT&T 5G Slam Camp. That's to turn he dishes it to heel. Lock at six. Halliburton for three. And Carroll grabs the board. Magic leading by ten. Inside, Anthony. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Anthony's got seven now in this quarter. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look. The defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Halliburton kicks to heel. Back to Halliburton. Buries the long range jumper. Halliburton's got 20. Now this guy has made giant strides in his playmaking. Nice setup by Buddy Heel right there. Now a timeout called by Orlando. And who doesn't love stats? Here are some numbers for Turner. Averaging about 16 points, 10 rebounds, and just over two blocks. And he does the heavy lifting on the glass, throwing himself into the rebounding battle with just complete effort. Well, you get the feeling he believes every rebound should be his, and most of them are. This guy is putting up tremendous numbers. Carter finds Van Carroll. High post shot. It's rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got 11 rebounds in the game. Burton against Anthony. Pass to heel. And there's the pass to Neesmith. And the first shot of the night for him, no good. And Anthony's got the ball here for the Magic. They've held a 12-point lead early. They're playing host to Toronto for the next one. Second chance shot. 
and he uses the glass on the layup. Anthony's got nine points now in just the second half. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Harris against Teal. Turner with a screen on Harris. Three-pointer heel. It's hauled in by the Magic. And Carroll's got rebound number five here tonight. And, and not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Pacers trail by 11. Pass to Turner. Bancaro against Matherin. Halliburton for three. It's hauled in by the Magic. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Anthony can't hit. They get a chance to cut the deficit to within 10. Anthony against Halliburton. Pass to heel. Back to Halliburton. Misses the three. Just a, enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. And there's the foul. It'll go on Tyrese Halliburton. That is his first foul of the game. The Pacers making a switch here. Brown's checked in. Side, Walker back to McConnell and too much time in the three. lane they get called for the three second violation and now let's bring up the 2k leaderboard so we can see and check out some of the most feared defenders in the league the steel leaders among shooting guards Bruce Brown fourth and both the hand speed and general quickness of the players on that list are outstanding. Those are the qualities you need to be an effective perimeter defender. The effective doesn't begin to describe this crew. Their defensive skills are game-changing. And it isn't just the steals. It's the ability they have to get in their opponent's heads and force them into bad decisions. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force them to the line. For Orlando, they have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. And their success rate on the season, oh, right around right. 77%. Two shots. That one is off. One is no good. Pacers trail by 14. Passes it to Toppin. And here's Halliburton. Halliburton is double. 34 seconds left to play in the third. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Shot clock at six. McConnell kicks to Halliburton. Those three-pointers off the mark. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Now here's Anthony. He's got 22. Sinks the 15-footer. Anthony. Anthony's got 11 in the second half. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. And so it's the Orlando Magic with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead 16 points. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. We'll return shortly.
How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Dan, he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, this is why great point guard play is so critical in today's NBA. And you see it right there on display. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Tyrese Halliburton is out there with T.J. McConnell. Then there's Obi Toppin. Then there's Brown. And it's Walker in at the center position. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Toppin kicks to Halliburton. That's tipped. One-on-one -on -one here. Suggs in the corner. A three-pointer, no good. Pacers trail by 16. There's the pass to Toppin. Halliburton outside. No good on the triple. After the strong first half, this guy has not been the same. And largely a no-show right here. Outside Anthony. A three. That shot misses. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Tapping a screen on Anthony. Here's Halliburton. Left side, Brown. Halliburton is double. Back to Toppin. That falls. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. Halliburton's got his fourth assist in this one. Anthony against McConnell. To the inside. And that one's good. Suggs. And 11 points for Jalen Suggs. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Left side, Brown. And it's Halliburton missing. When you're not in rhythm with the three ball, why do you keep firing from there? Pass to Wagner. Here's Houston. Outside, Anthony. Wagner with a screen for Anthony. Over McConnell. Anthony with the bucket. Anthony's got 13 points here in the second half alone. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. To the paint. Here's Brown. The rebound by Bataze. Orlando leading by 17. Let's it go from 11. It's hauled in by Brown. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. Pass to Halliburton. And he converts the layup. Halliburton's got 22. Yeah, great work on the interior. Halliburton, easy work inside. Anthony against McConnell. Passes to Suggs. Rejected by Halliburton. Now, here's McConnell. Not a lot of room. Halliburton outside. Halliburton is double. Puts it up. A shot by McConnell. No good. And it's Anthony with the ball for the Orlando Magic. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Now, here's Suggs. He's covered by Halliburton. Wagner passes to be Johnson. Another shot. Back to Wagner. From outside the arc, gets the three-pointer to fall. And the Magic lead by 18. So nice to see Mo Wagner evolving into the modern big, sinking that three-point shot with real confidence. And the pass to Brown. Suggs with the steal. Over McConnell. It's rebounded by Tyrese Halliburton. Halliburton's got four rebounds in this game. Pass to Brown. Fades back. 
And it's off the back rim. No good. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Wow, you can't let Wagner get established like that. If he does, scoring is easy. Pacers trail by 20. Halliburton outside. Pass to Brown. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Boy, no idea why he went with the fadeaway. Had a clean look at the basket. Outside, Anthony. Wagner, a screen on Halliburton. Connects from three-point range. Oh, great ball movement there. Time, Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. for Indiana. Miles Turner, he's checked in for Walker. Neesmith comes in for Toppin. Benedict Matherin, he's checked in for Bruce Brown. And Heald subbed in for T.J. McConnell. And so here is Indiana. And here's Halliburton. Takes it inside. That one falls. Halliburton's got four points now in the quarter. How about the craftiness on the drive by Tyrese Halliburton? This guy's ability to adjust when he puts it on the deck is something else. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Greg is a guy that led the offense, a four general. Do you think we're in the golden era of point guard? Kevin, it's hard to say. I mean, the 80s had Magic and Isaiah. The, the 90s had Stockton and Peyton. The 2000s was with Nash and Kidd. But this era is deep. You got Curry, Lillard, Doncic, Morant. And, of course, CP3 is still going. First one falls for him. And Anthony drops them both. Halliburton with it. In the corner, it's healed. No good on the three. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. Outside, Anthony. He can't get that one to fall. Excellent defense there from Halliburton. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. On the wing, heel. Guarded by Harris. Bucket is good. And it's the Magic with the ball. Outside, Anthony. Dishes it to Bancaro. And with this new in-season tournament, Greg, the NBA continuing to innovate. How are they getting, though, two out there for you? Or do you like it? Listen, I think it pays to be bold. And I'll be one to admit, I was not a fan of the play-in. But I got to tell you, it's been a tremendous success. So I've got an open mind. Well, get it inside to a quality score and let this guy do his thing. Harris against Heald. From 12 feet out. 
No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Pacers trail by 21. They set the pick. Rebound by the Magic. Carter's... And Anthony's got the ball here for the Orlando Magic. The shake. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, Cole Anthony mixing it up on the interior. Nice job drawing the contact. This guy is unafraid. That free throw good from Anthony. That misses, so he splits the free throws. And missing opportunities here to extend that lead at the free throw line this half. Ingles against Heald. Down low. Six to shoot. Halliburton outside. And it's off from three-point range. Magic leading by 22. Here's Van Carroll. It's rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got 14, yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. Matherin against Ingles. And it's Matherin missing. Orlando's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Bobs it up for Anthony. A nice shot by Carter. And that's a double-double for him now. 10 points and 14 rebounds. Indiana's gotten some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. Carter against Turner. Kicks it to heel. Here's Matherin. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. Anthony against Halliburton. Now here's Anthony. Guarded close. Bancaro outside. Anthony's shot is off. Pacers shooting around 36%. They're just not able to finish consistently. Halliburton kicks to Turner. The dish to heel. From deep three-point land, that ball. Nice speed that time from Turner. Turner's got three assists now in this one. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Anthony against Halliburton. Now here's Anthony. D right on him. The rebound by Turner. Pacers trail by 19. Here's Halliburton. Healed outside. Over Harris. Healed. Can't hit. Well, Orlando shooting around 37% in the fourth quarter. The minutes starting to wear on them. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the Magic. They enjoyed a big boost from the strong play of their bench. The, the subs came in and did their job. Those points off the bench were key to their victory. And during the long NBA season, each contest important here tonight. Tonight's win will give them four on the season. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Cole Anthony. What a relentless scoring night for this guy. In attack mode all evening. So Indiana ends up with a new group on the floor. Orlando making some changes. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Cole Anthony.
been trying to up the scope. On the gram, Cinderella on the week. How much did the phantom cost? Bag too much. <laughs>